Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching and Embroidery and Design. I'm going to show you how I merge letters when I'm getting ready to do a monogram on a shirt. I've already got my uh, computer, my Sew Up Pro software in album mode. And the way I did that was uh, you can go to View and click Album, or you can use the shortcut keys of Control and the letter I for icon. So we're all set here to go. I don't have this in alphabet mode, and this is the reason why, because we're not doing a traditional word, we're doing a monogram. So what I do is, uh, if I have this in alphabet mode, and I don't have it in um, just the regular view like I got here, it makes the icon smaller when I click album mode. And I can't tell which ones are the uh, 4 by 4 since they're all in the same directory together, or which ones are the 5 by 7 letters. So I unclick alphabet mode. Then when I scroll down here, as you see, I can see which sizes these are, and I can see them easily. For this one, I need the letters uh, E, A, C. So I just um, put my mouse here on this slider, and I scroll down. And I need this letter E. So that's my left one. And if you look at these monograms like this, uh, there's a left side for the monogram, there's a middle, and then there's a right side. So these are all the left. You can see how they're sloped because this will make a circle when it's all combined together. I'm just showing you right now. So let's do my A. And you can see there's a 6 by 10 size also. I don't have them all in one folder. Uh, I probably should do that, but this is just easier. It works for me. Click my A, and all you have to do is just click. And I just wait till I get all my letters before I move them. And then I need the right letter in this circle. That's the letter C, which is this one. So I've got all my letters. And this is a 4x4 four four monogram. And the problem with this is it's supposed to be for a 4x4 four four hoop, but it's not actually a perfect 4x4 four four size. If I scoot them all together like this, the letters, uh, they fit on this particular monogram, but some of them are a little too big. So what I do, is, and they're awfully close here, is I take my uh, letter here, I select the E, and I use the left arrow button. First, though, I hold the control button, and then the left arrow, and I move it over a little bit to put a little bit more of a space in here. And that definitely makes it too large for the hoop. I just like the way this looks better. Then I do the same thing with the letter C. I left click it with the mouse, hold down the control button, and that. And if you do uh, the control button with the arrow keys, that's called nudging, where you just move in very small increments. If you use the um, left or right arrow button without the control key, it moves over a lot, you know, faster and further. Got it nudged the way I want it. And it's definitely too large for the hoop now. <coughs> so, what I do is uh, to make this easier too, let's go back to view and let's turn off the album view. So, we're back to our regular view here. And now I'm going to resize this. Go to tools and resize, or you can do control and the letter R to resize. You can see all your um, shortcut keys here, and there's the icon picture also in the menu bar. Because you can uh, resize it on the menu bar as well, you can go here. And that's what we're doing. Click the menu bar, resize, the resize tool. And I've got uh, mine set here to resize by size. You can do it by percentage, 
but in this case I need to do it in percentage. And if you look at this, this is definitely bigger than my 4x4 hoop that I'm using. So um, I do this a lot. So what I do is this uh, biggest number here for the width, I make it 3.8. I've got the lock aspect ratio on. That means that when I change something in this box, it automatically uh, adjusts the size so that it's proportioned correctly. And then I've got auto adjust stitch density checked, and that will automatically adjust the density settings for me. If I uncheck that and I made this larger, for instance, that would reduce the density actually. That's something you can play around with. We can talk about that in another video. And uh, anyway, I go ahead and select OK. And you can see it fits in the hoop now perfectly. And then I go up to Tools. And you can see here Center Pattern. And I make sure that I've got that selected. And like I said, you can use uh, the menu bar on top, or you can use your shortcut keys. And what we'll do is we'll go to the menu bar and select Center Pattern. And that I centered it up in the hoop just fine. And it's perfect. And uh, then what I do is I go ahead and I move these so that they're together. Uh, the different components of the applique will stitch together. Uh, this here is the um, placement stitch. And you can also type in here placement stitch so you remember. I do these so often though that I don't even do this anymore. And then this stitch here is your satin stitch. But I do like these comments. These are really helpful sometimes. And then this is your tack down stitch. And so um, I'm going to show you how to move this. This is the easy way that I do it. That way all my um, placement stitches are together, my tack downs, and then my satins. They'll all stitch you know, different times together. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to select this one. And I hold down the shift key, then the left mouse button. And notice how we had this little um, piece of paper here now attached to the cursor. That means that we're doing it correctly. So we hold down the shift key, the left mouse button, and we drag it up here to where the number two is because I want it underneath this one. And then you release it. And then you do the same thing with the next one. Bring it up here. Release it. And we'll do the same thing with these. Release. Next thing with these. Release. So now we've got all of our placement stitches together. We've got all of our tack down stitches together. There's another tack down. There's our satin stitches together. And it just works out a lot better when you're doing an applique like this. And I put these on uh, all sorts of things. You can put them on bags, you can put them on shirts, quarters up sweatshirts, uh, anything. And they come in different sizes. And then now we want to save our design. So I go to File, Save As. And then I usually save this, I call it, in this case, EAC. And I call it my customer name. I can call it Jane Doe in this case. I only use my customer's name. And then do Save. And I've also got it set to Save automatically as my PES format. I click save and that's all there is to it. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have suggestions for other videos, please send me a message. My uh, email address is uh, sweet stitch in s w e e t s t i t c h letter n at yahoo.com or you can find me on Facebook. I'm one of the administrators on the Sew Up Pro group. Look for me under Terry Hamblin Laughlin. You have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.